Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Able Hawk's OHRPGs, where I look at some old JRPGs I made using the official Hamster Republic role-playing game construction engine, or OHRPGCE. Uh, today I'm just going to be looking at one game, and it's much better than the games I've looked at so far in this series, because I made it when I was... 17 or 18 as opposed to 13 or 14 so so this uh this game is called space <laughs> and um it needs a little bit of explanation so i'm gonna open paint here and show you something real quick so when my brother and i were kids sometimes we would use paint as a way of playing games as some people might use dolls or action figures to play a game. Also, we would play <laughs> Age of Empires and use the units like dolls sometimes. Not like dolls, but like we'd, you know, move them around and pretend that they were going to town or whatever on the map editor, And but that's a different story. So anyway, sometimes we'd go on paint, or at the time it was probably paintbrush back in the 90s, uh, and we would play games. And there were a couple games we used to play. There's a game called City, where we would draw uh, little areas like this, and then we would have, um, oh crap, the controls aren't like they used to be, which is kind of lame. Yeah, this is dumb. Um, back in the day, you used to be able to, okay, I guess we'll just do this. Um, let's open that too, so it's filled. Oh, come on. Is there seriously no, oh, okay, here we go. So there's a game called City, and we'd make a little city like this. And sometimes the buildings would be uh, made of like thatched roofs like this, like the peasant houses, and then there would be bigger things. And I can't remember City much. I'm pretty sure we just would like pretend that a city was harvesting resources or something, because that's what we would do a strategy game. So that's kind of what we would make up. But there's also a game called Space, and you can tell we were very creative with our <laughs> with our uh, titles for our games. So in Space, uh, can, can I zoom in any farther than this? Okay, that's that looks basically like I remember from a kid. So when I was a kid, I was always blue when we played games, and my brother was always green. And so oh, these colors are gross. I don't like these colors. Okay, you know what? We need the actual, like, solid blue from the old times, not the ones that are easier on your eyes. There we go. And that color. So, we would play games uh, where we would be these little spaceships, and we'd fly around space, and, you know, we'd have, like, maybe some star, okay, some stars every once in a while. Uh, and then sometimes there'd be these evil, um, there'd be these little evil ships, and they'd be like little pesky ones that are like that, like this. And it was easier to draw and paint back then. But uh, anyway, and there was also like, um, oh man, this is making me miss the old version of paint because you could like increase the size of your brush and it would look different Ugh. seriously the paint sucks now anyway so you could go like i remember the exact shape it was not this it was just a little bit bigger That's it. It's funny how a, a pixelated shape can bring back so many memories. Uh, so anyway, these uh, spaceships would sometimes go around and there were planets that looked like this. And uh, sometimes we would have uh, like these glowing, these glowing energy spears in addition to the guns that we would shoot. And so it would look like something like this where, oh my gosh, it's hard to use this stupid thing now where we just kind of go down the list and uh, have colors and make these like energy spears and stuff like that. Anyway, and that's what we would do for fun back in the day because uh, back then 
you know, the, the, uh, it was, it was simpler times back in the nineties. Anyway, so when we got the OHRPG and I got older and I figured out how to use it and stuff, I decided to make a tribute to our childhood by making space. That's why it's called an ancient game resurrected. So this is much, uh, this, this is the first time where I actually was able to use like sound effects and better music that I didn't compose myself. Uh, some of those cedar badge ones are terrible on, on one of those other, uh, videos, but anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at space. Kudos to you. If you can, if you know the, uh, music from this title sequence. Uh, obviously I put a lot more time into the into the uh, title screen. I don't know if I had Photoshop at the time or just Photo Studio. I probably had Photoshop. Anyway, so here's space. So let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, right off the bat, my knowledge and how versed I am in sci-fi is really bad. So this is going to be pretty funny, but here we go. Configuring AI script now. Conf configuration complete. A8 probe type blue is now on. Wake up A8. So I called myself A8 because my name starts with A and 8 has always been my favorite number. So that's what that's all about. Dr. Atten. Ah, your first circuited seconds. Welcome to life, A8. You appear to be confused. Excuse me, my name is Dr. Atten and you, A8, are a machine in artificial intelligence. You can tell I just got that guy from Star Wars, and I think I just photoshopped something over his eye to make him look like a cyborg. You've been constructed to assist us humans in our missions from here in the station and throughout outer space. But enough talk, there will be plenty of that later. Please, move around the station. Once you're ready for your task, speak to me. Alright, and here we have the... What, did it, what was it called? The Perseus Station or something like that? And here's my little probe that I resurrected from uh, space mold. So anyway, this is kind of a good example of um, how this RPG engine is so versatile. You know, you can have like basically anything because you create the graphics. So anyway, let's go ahead and look around. Let's look at some of these computer screens. All right, so this is describing how the game works in terms of like weapons and stuff. So the different types of uh, slot, like equipment slots, is ammo, bullets for attacking, armor, defense versus artillery, gravity damage, firepower, which is artillery, gravity, and metal damage, and then energy, which is laser, plasma, therm thermal, and electric damage. And then maneuverability is dodging, efficiency is using less bullets, which is kind of funny, and then resistance, defense versus lasers, probably non-armor related attacks. Anything on this one? Nothing. I guess that's why the console is blank. What's this disc? You found 40 credits. Okay, so it's like a floppy disk that was worth 40 credits. Uh, nothing on that screen. Uh, what's this little robot drone thing? OSL-12. Not sure if that's just... I, I'm sure that might be a reference to something, because everything I do... It's, it's rare for me to make random stuff in games. So, anyway, welcome to Perseus 509. We are working right now to set up a supplies annex so that incoming ships can dock and repair. Okay. Uh, this looks like a printer. <laughs> what is this? Galactic Trade Systems. Accessing item database. Database 509 access. Alright, so this is a... Oh yeah, listen to StarCraft effects. Uh, so, Trade System 509. The numbers are probably random. Up. See? So you can buy uh, repair kits, ammunition, javelins. That's what I was talking about before with those like light javelins. Um, and this icon makes me think that that probably is a program that you buy for this probe so that he can create these javelins afterwards. Unfortunately, that would cost all my money. Oh, a magnet. That's probably a grabbing ability or a, a armament that uh, grabs items, which is pretty funny. Uh, I guess I'll buy a couple of mini missiles. Nothing to sell, though. Oh, interesting. 
So my equipment is an automatic gun one. I assume that that just goes up. Thank you for your purchase is have a nice day. Kind of a funny thing for a thing to say. Anyway, adds on a mini missile launcher. So I add that to my A8 probe. A8 learned mini missile. Cool. Oh, I wonder why it didn't, uh, I guess I forgot to make it consumable. That's funny. Then we have techniques. So collide and mini missile are my techniques now. Uh, upgrade points instead of experience points. Yeah, I, I had fun with making this, um, you know, like a, a non-medieval sort of thing, even though I don't know much about uh, sci-fi. What's this red thing? Analyzing structure, please wait. Recognized A8, initiating repair. Ships repaired, ammunition refilled. So, uh, well, one thing about the animation on this thing, this is actually an NPC that is spinning around in circles right now, but I made each facing direction a different frame of that animation, so that's kind of fun. And then, I guess, ammunition is basically mana, so that's kind of fun how that works. All right, what else we got here? Uh, okay, so these are the different types of damage and what they're strong against and... Uh, oh, these are types of enemies. So mechanical is weak against laser and not really strong against anything. Organic is weak against biological damage, which I assume is like poison and viruses and stuff. And strong against lasers for some reason. Cyborg is weak against plasma and strong against artillery. Mutant is weak against thermal, strong against electric. Planetoid is weak against metal and strong against gravity. And then constructs are weak against electric and strong against plasma. And then these are the different types of damage. So artillery is guns and bullets and it's balanced. Laser is highly accurate but weak damage. Plasma penetrates defense, gravity shoots meteorites or stuff like that. Electric damage can stun mechanical enemies, that's fun. Biological, only powerful versus organic. Metal is drills and saws and their reliable damage range. Oh, interesting. So there's not as much of a spread in the range of damage. And then thermal is high damage, but it's low accuracy. So very cool. Um, I definitely thought this came out a lot more than all my other ones. OSL 14. Greetings. If you'd like to preserve your data, go to the datum backup over there. Uh, oh, okay, and then this is a save state thing, so you can just back up your data in case you get destroyed. You know what? Let's do that. Why not? Alright, data saved for A8. Goodbye. And what does this say? Oh, okay, ship parts. Armament allows you to defend yourself in battle. It's basically weapon. Hull is makes you resistant to damage. Defense. Core increases energy and firepower. Magazine, bigger ammunition capacity. And turret increases accuracy and maneuverability. So, very cool. Um, I guess we leave now. Oh, access denied. Consult Dr. Atten for access. Okay, that's right. So, let's go ahead and speak with him, I guess. Are you done exploring? Very well, A8. If you are diligent in your assistance to us, you will someday be one of the galaxy's strongest fighters. First of all, I want to make sure you have sufficient training in combat before we set up you off on your own. So if you would simply enter the door to your right, we will begin. All right, looks like a little bubble of glass out here in space. Oh no, did I not have actually Okay, it looks like I didn't actually end up implementing this training thing. That's a shame. Well. Crap. Um, that's stupid. Um, I swear that I... Okay, well, you know what? I guess we'll just... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just cheat walk through this wall here and then we'll just move on I guess um, I swear that there was like a quest though let me see what happens I guess when I just come all right so here's outer space um, kind of fun to have these animated tiles and everything uh, oh yeah this is a little speeder sort of 
little uh, booster thing, which is pretty fun. Makes you go faster. It's a wraparound map, though, so, you know, just end up coming back to the same place as before. Okay, let's go get into some trouble with, uh, see if there's any space pirates. Ah, here we go. Alright, so I love the StarCraft sound effects. Uh, so, yeah, PN4, I think PN was like puny or something, but anyway, here's my gun. Let's try it out. Alright, that one exploded. Uh, let's try Collide. <laughs> I love that. So yeah, that hurts you, but it does probably gravity damage, because it's like bludgeons them into it, but anyway, so yeah, that beat me up pretty bad. Oh, never mind, I leveled up, so I'm good. Alright, let's see if there are any other ones. Okay, so they come in ones, twos. I'm pretty sure they also come in like little squadrons that are like little swarms of them and stuff, but... Oh, I apparently have an ability called Scan. Let's see what that does. Oh, here's a little squadron. Alright, Scan. 60 hit points left. Okay, that's cool. So I can check what how many hit points they have. I'm actually having fun with this. Uh, this is a uh, first RPG I've showed on this channel that is actually fun. And it makes me want to work on this some more and maybe add to it, but we'll see. Two upgrades instead of levels, I like that. <sighs> okay, I swear that there's... Okay, you know what? Let me, uh... Well, let's go back to the station real quick. I'm gonna save my game. Alright, um, I'll, I'll be right back. I need to check something in this game to make sure because I know that there's a way to get through that training section, so be right back. I'm back. Uh, after a while, um, I kind of got carried away. I was looking at the file for space, and I got excited, and I started at, like adding stuff to it, so I need to just get back into it. Okay, <clears throat> so I fixed maybe the thing that would kind of get in the way, so let's just go ahead and start over real quick. And uh, we'll move forward with the little like single quest I've made on this. Okay, so done. Okay, your first task is not difficult, but it will test your abilities. Exit the space station and travel to the nearby planet of Oron. We have lost our station's defense turret. Retrieve it for us and you'll be promoted. You're already equipped with a simple gun to fight off wandering enemies in space, as well as whatever might be guarding our lost turret. If you need to learn more about weapon or enemy types, read the text on the computers. Good luck, A8. All right, so, uh, oh, get this credits here. Could use a uh, sound effect for um, picking up stuff, in my opinion. All right, uh, oh, and I found out that I'm not supposed to have the mini-missile thing yet. That's supposed to be a reward for doing this quest, so I must have been testing that out at the time. So in that case, I'm going to do a <coughs> javelin throwing phaser. Alright, let's try that then. There we go. I installed the javelin phaser. Ah, it didn't make it consumable. That's so annoying. Okay, well now I have javelins, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now... Let's go forth and do this quest. Okay, so now this door is gone. And let's go ahead and go through. Exit Perseus Station. Uh, let's go ahead and fight one. Um, PN whatever. Oh, okay, cool. So, this is just some flotsam floating around in the... Uh, just floating around in space, and it's... Like, it doesn't have... It's not going to attack, it's just some stuff there, and I can get materials from it, which is a pretty cool idea. I don't know why it's playing this music, though. I should have just kept the same music, but... Anyway, so, it's pretty cool. 
this seems like the type of thing that would count as maybe like a meteorite or something. Although it looks like maybe it's made from just like destroyed space station stuff. Anyway, this looks like the type of thing a drill would help with. Let's go ahead and scan it, see how much is left though. Oh, 133 hit points left, okay. Well, let's try Javelin. Oh, that was pretty cool. Uh, my guess is that's plasma damage. Didn't do too much more than this though, so... I think this music's cool, because I don't mind playing a little bit longer. This gun does have kind of an interesting range of damage to it. So, kind of fun that I had those different... I, I distinctly remember... Oh, there it is. Ooh, that thing was full of credits somehow. And a repair kit. Cool, that'll come in handy. In fact, I'm going to go back and I'm going to buy... Uh, actually... What's my bullets? Okay, so I used about... Looks like I use about five bullets every time I fire. I don't know. Let's go ahead and have it refilled, though. Okay. So, let's try again. I just want to level up. I don't think I got any experience from that, which is kind of fun. See, I, I love this because they've, they've got the capacity to have some fun stuff with this game. But also, I just used it because I just love this voyage RPG thing because for me it was just really fun to kind of stretch the limits of RPGs and take them in directions that I'd never seen before. Alright, upgrade. I should call it update. That would be hilarious. Okay, so this is the planet Oron. So let's go ahead and land. Okay, that's the only way I could think of to, you know, land in a area without making it I don't know. Anyway, I've got some RuneScape music here. I remember when I figured out how to download all the MIDIs for them, so we're going to hear a lot of those from here on out on several of my games. What's this? You found a repair module. Okay, cool. So I have, a, I have a couple of those in case I get hurt by any aliens that are here on the surface. All right, got some aliens. Eye creatures. I guess that's maybe better than coming up with calling them slargs or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's kind of interesting. See that shadow I put on the uh, bottom of my probe? That's actually kind of cool because it doesn't really show up in space, so it looks like you're just sort of floating in space, but on this it makes it look like you're hovering above the ground. Alright, so... Let's find that turret. Ooh, some kind of weird turtle thing. Our own turtle. Oh, it's shooting beams at me, are ya? Oh, it's weaker, even though it had a shell. That's funny. I already don't really like the look of the aliens in this place. They're, the art isn't exceptional, but oh well. Would you guys be interested, just put it in the comments below, would you guys be interested in me, like, working on this RPG? Like, continuing work on it? Maybe as part of, like, a stream or something? Because I'm terrible with ideas of, especially with, like, sci-fi, but I'm good at, like, programming mechanics and stuff. So if you guys would want to, like, collaborate, where I would, you know, work on the RPG itself, and then you guys could give me ideas for, you know, what to do. Oh, we got some just straight up mosquitoes. Oh, marsh flies. Okay. Anyway, I keep thinking of just good ideas with this. I don't want it to go to waste. Like, for example, I want it to make it so if you upgrade, you know, your health goes up, but your ammo doesn't, because that, you know, that doesn't make any sense. So. But anyway, I mean, I, I can see myself working on this. Okay, let's use a repair kit. Cool, I like that. Oh, I forgot to make give them any rewards. That's lame. Okay, let's go back up to that cave. Alright, let's try this again. <clears throat> oh, 
way. Okay, ooh, got these glowing mushrooms. I'm kind of impressed with how those look. Not impressed with these hard corners on the rock walls, though. Okay, we got ammunition belt, repair module, and a steel hull. Awesome, let's go ahead and install that. So that reduces our maneuverability and speed, but greatly improved hit points and uh, <coughs> defense and stuff, so I'll take it. Okay, we got a rock here. Scanning, composition of target 28389, material too hard to penetrate. So I guess this probe comes installed with like a drill of some kind, but that material, <laughs> which is apparently 28389, I'm guessing that's code for some sort of material. Anyway, it's too hard, so I'm already kind of adding seeds for future adventures, you know, which is kind of fun. So I could, you know, like once you upgrade your drill, however that's done, <coughs> you can come back and um, drill through that to see what the reward was, which is fun, so. Okay, well, moving along here, I don't know why this probe can't just, you know, fly over the, like why it can't fly over the swamps and stuff. Maybe it's a gravity thing? Maybe once it's in space it can, you know fly around, but maybe once it gets too close to the planet's surface it can't fly. I'm sure in a future update to this game I'll explain that maybe. Okay, definitely not fighting them because they don't give any rewards. That's just a waste of time. Alright, here's a little bridge here. Oh, there's a new uh, enemy. It's a grub. Uh, you know what? No, it's not worth it. I don't think the grub drops anything either. Oh, is that the turret? That was easier than I thought. All right, I need to... I'm not sure exactly what a turret is, or even what I th thought a turret should be. <laughs> okay, I leveled up some full stats. But that looks more like a satellite dish. I don't know. I can always change that later. Okay, here we go. You have found the Perseus 509 turret. Large enemy detected. Proximity increasing. Prepare for battle. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, it looks like it got like some... It looks like it got uh, some shrapnel in it from the crash and then it mutated it. So this music I actually did compose. Let's try it out. Oh, it looked pretty good on it. Uh, this music is from... I, I composed it on a cell phone, which is pretty funny. I don't know what a javelin does exactly. Like, it does a fair amount of damage, but what does it cost? Uh, like energy or something? Okay, let's see how many hit points that's left. 279, oh boy. and then just unload on this guy, I guess. If I survive. I'd also like to make all these games turn-based. There's a flag you can set in the game to make it do that, because this speed-based, you know, it's just not as fun. It could be fun to just do turn-based like Final Fantasy 1 or whatever instead. 20 at a time, and it had, what, 200 hit points left, so... Oh, shoot, I'm, I'm smoldering. Okay. <laughs> that was a, that was kind of a fun, uh, weak animation there. Alright, there we go, now we're ready to rock. Oh, did another 
beam because it's a mutated marsh turtle or whatever. Or a roam turtle or whatever they're called. Alright, let's do another javelin. It's too, uh, it's too dangerous to do collide. Oh, we got it! Ooh, 300 credits somehow. I don't know how credits work, but, you know, I don't know how anything in sci-fi works, so that's funny. 300 upgrade points. Three upgrades for A8. Okay, now let's go back to the landing site and return this turret. Yeah, I don't want to fight anything else. Let's just get this going here. Yeah, there should be there should be a way to like I don't know. Like it seems like everything that is added on here, like the mini missile launcher and the javelin module or whatever, they're just to like like you just have to buy the upgrades and fly around on this one again. It's fun. It just looks like you buy the upgrades instead of learning them through, you know, experience, which is fine I guess, but it's kind of fun to learn stuff too, so I, I wonder how a probe could learn to do new things. I don't know. Maybe it makes sense this way just on this one. To... Alright, uh, let's go ahead and uh, I want to spend some of my credits. I want that magnet armament. That's fun. And okay, let's report back to Dr. Atten. Well done, A8. You found the turret. Here, please take this. It's a mini missile launcher. Once attached, it can be used to fire missiles at your enemies. You can buy missiles at any shop. You got a mini missile launcher. A mutated marsh turtle is guarding this turret? Good heavens, A8. This is far more than you bargained for. I think you deserve more than just that add-on. Here, these credits can be used at any galactic trade system to purchase items. 150 credits? Not too shabby. Now, A8, there's one more thing that this station needs, and you will be deported. <laughs> deported. <laughs> that seems, uh, negative. I guess transferred is what I meant. To the Orpheus 20 station. See, I, 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 it's so funny how naive I am about um, sci-fi stuff. Like, I just throw in, you know, mythological names with numbers and for some reason that was enough. It's so funny. One of our defense probes has had its data corrupted by space radiation. We need you to destroy it before it does any more harm to friendly ships. Ah, okay. So that's fun. I know that that's not ready. Yeah, see, you'll find the probe dot dot dot. In other words, this is, that's all I wrote. Uh, the other probe was probably going to be the green one that I was talking about earlier. The one that represented my brother. It was my brother's first name starts with R, and his favorite number was... Well, if I was eight years old, he would be six, so it's probably Probe R6, which is pretty funny, but... Anyway, let's go ahead and install that mini-missile launcher. And then, uh... Buy some mini-missiles and try those out, and then I'll do a couple of, uh... I think, if I am going to work on this, I think what I'm going to do is make it so you don't just find credits off of, you know, enemy corpses. Like, I feel like maybe they would drop trinkets that you can sell for credits, you know, like teeth or claws or biomass. Like, that would actually be pretty funny. Biomass, if they dropped it, and then you could sell it for um, credits. I like that idea. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and try out some of these. I guess that's all there is on this one, but I'll look in the editor and look at a couple other things. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that magnet armament. I mean, obviously there's no firepower involved with it, but let's see what we can steal off these guys. Okay, failed. Try again. Let's try again here. Failed. Try again. These little buggers are, uh dodgy. Okay, I don't think these things drop anything, so let's just kill it with a mini-missile. Oh, come on, that didn't even kill it? Jeez. Did it weaken it so I can take something away from it? Nope. Oh, 
that that's stupid. Those mini missiles should be way stronger than that. How many hit points does that have? Just out of curiosity. Eight. Wow, these are way stronger than they look. All right, let's get out of here. I want to find one of those flotsams because then I can maybe you know get some more stuff out of it. All right, I'll try one more time just in case that's like bad luck. Oh, it sucks it from everybody. That is, that's actually kind of fun. I mean, the trade-off is, you know, you don't have an attack. So once that other probe gets, you know, fixed, then I'm sure he joins your party. And then you could have one to attack and one to steal items. But go on, where's some Flotsam? I'm guessing that Flotsam was like a low chance of occurring, but I'm going to try a little bit anyway. Actually, you know what? Let's go down to the planet Orone. Well, I'll try one more time. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the planet and see if I can magnetize some stuff off of the turtles and see what happens. No magnetic items. Okay, that's cool. You guys gotta admit, that's cool. <laughs> so it only steals magnetic items from, you know, ships and stuff. I like that. Well, why does it keep failing on these guys? <sighs> lame, lame, lame. Alright, well... Hey, I grabbed a mini-missile! That's awesome! Let's shoot it right back at him. It missed, are you kidding me? Okay, these these little guys are definitely not meant to be uh, messed with with like powerful implements. They're just really small and annoying apparently. Although I gave them way too many hit points. They should die in one hit from anything and just be sort of nuance nuisances, I guess. But... Alright, come on, where's that flotsam? Maybe it's only by planets? Like it's was I Hey! Maybe it only orbits the planets or something. Okay, let's go ahead and steal from this thing. Okay, some metal scraps. I like that. Scraps? Does this have unlimited scraps? I imagine that things only have either one of something or nothing of something, so... Okay, I failed try again. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and leave. Let's see what those scraps do pieces of workable metal. That's fun! I wonder if I had it in my mind that there'd be like a... I don't know. There weren't 3D printers back then, so just some sort of machine that you could... Uh... Okay, scraps are worth nothing, so I'm guessing there'd be some sort of like mechanical forge that you could use to uh, create new stuff, which is awesome. So... Man, ugh, this is such a... I mean, this is a fun concept for a game. Like, it really is. Like, if there's... Is there any other game you guys know of where you play as, like, a little space probe that can upgrade like this? And I don't know. This is really fun. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a closer look into this game. And I'll show you guys kind of how it works. Okay, the screen's not very big for you guys, so sorry about that. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's zoom in. There we go. All right, so let me just let's take a look at some of the unused stuff. Um, turtle laser. Okay, we looked at all of the. Oh, okay. So apparently, oh, I want to see that. Apparently, there is a, a there is an ability to make meteors. And it's called Genesis. Oh, that's definitely a reference to uh, Warheads. I don't know if you guys have ever played Warheads. I probably got a lot of. Uh, um, I probably got a lot of um, inspiration from that game. So there's some sort of thermal gun, a flame-throwing armament. You can see the gun in the corner there. That's what it looks like. There's the magnet. There's a laser gun that you can shoot lasers with. That's fun. 
none of these are gotten beyond anything except um oh I, <laughs> you can equip the turret from perseus that's funny what is it what stats does it give five resistance and one speed that's funny uh then there's a cobalt hull a tantanium hull wait tantalm i'm not sure what that means but yeah, there's a tantanium hole and a screamly enforced steel, ammo, and then a drill. Oh, there it is at the bottom. That's fun. So it's like a drill that probably does a bunch of... Uh... Oh, there's a drill ability. We can look at that. And then there's a shot. Oh, single shot artillery armament. So it only uses one... Um... Or wait, is that what you start out with? Oh, yep, R6 called it. So yeah, that's R6. Let's look at those attacks. So that's Bombard, which is what the puny things do. Mini Missile, Javelin. Oh, apparently it has um, some animation that I didn't notice. Missile Explosion, Gun, Magnetize, Repair. Okay, so that's the gun, I think, that there's the single shotgun, and that must just do like more damage but be slower and not use up as much ammo i guess as the doo -doo -doo -doo. for rent that's funny i must have uh, deleted that uh, attack but you can't delete them and so i just made that one empty turtle laser hit points left scanning swamp attack sting oh there's the meteor and then drill so Genesis, you must create the meteorite and then it flings it at an enemy. So that's kind of cool. Fun. Uh, you know what I would think would be kind of fun is to have the the uh, flotsam just sit there. But every once in a while, like if you wasted too much time using the magnet, maybe meteors would fly down and hit you, you know, just because you're focusing on that one area. Anyway, uh, so let's just look at a few of the text boxes that we didn't see all right we got all of that on ammunition belt well done you'll find the probe access denied okay look so material can be penetrated by drill armament commence and so basically that rock if you have the drill equipped then you can drill through it which is kind of cool target penetration successful so you can just get past it all right 150 credits uh oh okay so apparently there's supposed to be some sort of uh alien that has a pink a really gross pink text box and it's named leech in leech speak you have to believe me probe your masters are bad people humans have attempted to take over the galaxy for their own gain and you are one of its means of doing so okay so there's apparently a alien who maybe joined you I'm imagining some sort of pink squid or something. Uh, although then it would be weird to have like, you know, hull and armaments. Maybe you just couldn't equip any of those things. Anyway, apparently there's some sort of hidden agenda from the humans or something. So that's a pretty classic uh, thing. And then here's R6. Hello there. Wow, I had no idea the humans would dare make another probe after I turned against them. Perhaps you are different somehow. Oh, that's it. That's the last. That's all she wrote. So apparently, yeah, once you, you know, I'm guessing you probably beat up the R6 probe, you know, to make it stop malfunctioning. And then it, once you turn it back on, then this happens and it joins you or whatever. But anyway, uh, you can, yeah, there's, you know, these are the different battle formations. See, for the flotsam, you can make the battle music just like space you know so it just kind of does the space uh there's a couple other squadrons there's the um eye creatures the real random ones that's a mutant grub marsh fly oh apparently there are some glow worms in the cave but i never countered them so um i looked at the items so i didn't make any sort of mechanical forge or anything any music I didn't use? Nope. But yeah, see, a lot of the, the spell effects are all just from, or the sound effects are all just from StarCraft. Ooh, nuke. That would be pretty fun. Anyway. 
that is space, you guys. Um, thank you for joining me uh, on this look back at memory lane with these OHRPGs. Um, but yeah, comment below if you'd like me to maybe work on that a little bit. That could be fun a fun thing to just sort of stream as I make the graphics and everything. I could take suggestions from you guys in the chat. And uh, I don't know, could be fun because that was just giving me some fun ideas to play with the mechanics and everything, but I'm just really bad with sci-fi stories and whatnot. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you're not dead, then you're alive today. I don't know. I'm bad at coming up with catchphrases. <laughs>